Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide and Q&A time again or Q the Q&A time again. Yes, that's much better. Let's roll. This is in regards to Books Go 10.3. They should use Mobius flexible screen instead of the Carto one, like WeWoods or Supernote. While there are advantages to Mobius flexible screen, there are also disadvantages as well, which is slightly less clarity, less contrast, a lot less uniformity because you can actually see the cellular structure of the ink cells themselves so it's not really such a cut and dry type of a situation and also there's a performance of the screen itself that it might not be as fast like many other things in life it's more of a scale kind of thing rather than a boolean what do you think about the sheet music usability of the device in the case of tab xc specifically for piano pieces i know it would be better to be black and white but to me it would be just one of many other uses and i wonder how well it would do uh, in that regard in terms of size refresh rate etc the front light is a big plus for this type of use case scenario naturally you can use the bluetooth page turner of any sort with either note max or the tab xc but another really positive aspect of the tab xc is the deghosting performance and in that case where you need as clear and as good of an image that you can get out of the device remotely without you having access to it, there I think Tab XC would make more sense than say Note Max. Hey Waya, great video, thank you. I might be upgrading to Tab XC from my Max Lumi 2. One request question, is the screen on this the same size as a physical A4 paper? My Max Lumi 2 minus the chin was actually smaller than A4 and it would be a deal breaker for me if this was similar well um i don't know if you're referring to the screen uh, yeah the screen well the screen is the same size because it's 13.3 inch so yes it's exactly the same size as it is on the max lumi 2. this is in regards to the books go 7 line of devices i've got the old magnetic cover that was created for page dark one red inside that was bundled in the eu shop it's perfect and it works great nothing loose and didn't fall out even with heavy shaking well that's really really interesting to actually hear because that absolutely confirms that there's nothing wrong with the devices and that for some absolutely absurd reason they've actually modified the covers for the Go 7 series to be not just worse but basically unusable. What a strange kind of a business decision. Hmm. Letting your humor and creativity come through is fantastic. I was not prepared for your haptic impressions. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great review. Love watching you explain DAF and looking forward to seeing it fleshed out with more devices. Do you think Wacom is gone from books devices going forward or this was more experimental? I honestly do not know. I personally hope that it's not gone because uh, the experimental side of this has a long way to go. What I'm hoping for is that they keep the tab line of devices doing their experimental active stuff and mm, haptic kind of stuff and that they keep the note side of things firmly within the Wacom EMR realm. The vibration motor in the pen is such an awful idea. I had the Tab XC for like 30 minutes before I knew I was returning it. And one of the reasons why was because there were two occasions where the pen just freaked out and was vibrating nonstop, even when it wasn't near the screen. Well, that's kind of freaky and useful to know. And yes, I totally agree that the vibration motor in a pen is a bad idea on so so many levels i just don't get it how did this idea get through stages of approval not to just to get a prototype but to get to a production type of thing because that's not a cheap thing to do and uh you're fully committed if you're going there because you gotta produce the software side of things the communication like there it's a lot and it's like fully fully committed all the way through with something that just doesn't make sense nor has any hope to work properly at all 
It's a very, very strange decision. For these types of devices that have a wider left margin size than the right when using portrait, I'm curious how it is expected to be used by left-handed users by re reversing the orientation. If so, are there any tests done to ensure the device behaves as intended when switching the orientations as a left-handed user? These designs concern me. Will the buttons stay as easy to use? And I assume that this is in regards with the Go 7, I'm not really sure. But yes, you absolutely can use it as a left-handed or a right-handed person, because not only does it have an auto-rotation, but you also have the functionality of flipping the functionality of the buttons. So all of the stuff is readily available there for you to use it in any orientation that you may prefer. The fact that it doesn't have a micro SD slot made me not buy it. Some PDFs are large, especially for business users. Why books? Why? Hmm. Well, okay, but are you trying to tell me that 128 gigs on a device, the existence of uh, nano Tom USB-C drives to use as external drives as well, and access to any cloud drive that you may want is really not enough and that the one that you absolutely must have is the micro sd card type of storage really is it really something that you must have or is it maybe just maybe something that you want more than you need if you like the work that I do and you would like to support that independence and work, you can head on over to mydeepguide.com shop where you can find high quality e-paper and template products for your e-paper devices. MDO or My Daily Organizer is a workbook to help you organize all of your personal or professional yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily needs. It is a completely interlinked workbook, making it an extremely powerful addition to any of your e-paper devices. Devices. MMP or My Deep Guide Meeting Planner is also a hyperlinked workbook focused on helping you simplify, centralize and organize all of your meeting planning needs, allowing you seamless navigation between different meetings from the meeting index page and with each meeting having the ability to have individual agenda and notes. You can also find My Deep Guide Curated Templates, which is a collection of very carefully crafted notebook templates. What makes MDG Curated Templates it's different. All of them are pixel perfect for the device screen size that you are using them on. This is why there are so many different variations so that you can choose the one that fits your device perfectly. These templates also maintain a universal 8 millimeter line spacing standard and 4 millimeter grid spacing standard. Purchasing any of these products will enhance your productivity and simplify your organization. You also directly support independence of my deep guide. That's it for today's Q&A video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell. And also, if you do have some more questions, shoot them down as comments below, because that's the easiest way for me to find them and yeah, maybe address them if it's something that I can help you with. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.